All right, let's start to add some lights into our lighting project here. A couple things to point out just before we get started. Um, notice the project browser in this particular project is um, organizing this by view classification and then subdiscipline. So it's not really even using the discipline property of the view. Let's see that. If I click out here in no man's land, and I look at the properties of this view. Look how it's sorted. There is the view I'm in, the ceiling plan. Under ceiling plans, under lighting, under design. Well, if you look at the properties of this view, you can see the view classification is design. The sub-discipline is lighting. That's why this view is where it is. And then the view type is the fact that it's a ceiling plan. So we are going to add our lights in. Generally, we do add our lights in a ceiling plan, reflected ceiling plan, which means we're looking up when we say place a light on a uh, face. It doesn't place it on the floor. It places it up on the ceiling because we're kind of looking up at the ceiling in a ceiling plan. So which segues me into my next point. As we're adding lights, let's go to system. I'm going to right click on here. I'm going to say add wire to quick access toolbar. Right click on lighting, add lighting. So wiring and lighting we're going to be doing in the next little while. So I've added them to my quick access toolbar. Now as you add in light fixtures, light fixtures are down here in our browser. Okay, We've got lighting devices. Okay, That's switches and, and um, um, the the different switches that the ones that have motion sensors etc wall occupancy sensor and os and then we have lighting fixtures we have a pendant light loaded we have another uh, um, we have a round pendant light we have some rectangular ones okay we have a, a 600 by 600 which is a two foot by two foot kind of surface mounted fluorescent light and then we have a sconce light which should be placed on a wall but could be placed on other elements so before i add any lighting fixtures a good habit i can recommend to you is open up the family and find out how it was made you don't have to do anything but just get familiar watch i'm going to be placing some of these guys this is a type so i'm going to click on the family right click and say edit that actually opens up the family i don't need to do anything in here you know there it is you can see in fact it's upside down but it would be you know more like this when you place it however while you're in the family if you go up here to family category and parameters with the yellow um, marker there and you scroll to the bottom of here you're going to see an important thing it says host face it may say not hosted it may say um, some other options say so they're not coming off head reference plane i believe or level or something but take note of this and this is set when you start this family and you create it and you say this is a face hosted or wall hosted or ceiling hosted or however you want it to be hosted it gets hard coded in here you can't change this but so you know when you place this light it's looking for a face that's basically what you want to know so what i usually do and you just close this off and don't save it is i usually when i if i don't know for sure i right click on the family and I say edit open it up and go check that one property at the bottom so you know what you're dealing with then when you go to the next step which we're going to over here we're going to add some lights so I'm going to pick on my light tool here light fixture and then it's going to give me some options and I can also drag them from right from here right um, and inside of here I want to get the pendant light the 2400 so an eight foot by you know one foot a drop down fluorescent pendant light. So I click on there. Now I'm getting the forbidden stop sign. And the reason why is because the default is place on vertical face. This is that whole thing I was just talking about. Place on a work plane, place on a face, place on a wall, place on a ceiling, place on a floor. You have different hosting options. It depends on how the family was made. Now we know this guy's face Space, so we can click on there and all of a sudden we can see our light escape or space bar to rotate. So I'm just going to place some lights now. So I'm looking at it and you're going to see an elevation show up here as soon as I click. I'm going to go click and all of a sudden, actually I have to pick on it first. And then I'm going to go over here and we can, we can mirror these. We can align and 
lock them after the fact. I'm just going back and forth because of the temporary information that's there. Okay, and I can just keep going. Lights are pretty easy. Once you get rolling, you might as well, you know, place them in there. Now, I'm not saying this is necessarily the fastest way because we can align and lock. I think we'll put a ceiling in this these last two rooms. So I'm just placing lights. You can, again, use your space bar. If you're near something, it'll go at a 45 degree. Notice they're trying to align each other and everything. I'm not, I'm just being careless. Okay, escape, escape, and I'm done. Now, before we start to align them all up in plan, let's have a look and create a little section here and see just exactly where they went in. Cross section, escape, escape, double click, always go in and have a look. Uh, maybe change this to be fine detail. I only need to see the first floor ceiling plan. And there's those lights going in, and lo and behold, they are sticking to the floor above, the, the first surface it finds, basically, the face. So if you pick on this light now that we just placed, it's going to say, oh, it's at an elevation of 34. So it's still kind of talking to the level down here, okay? That's the 3400, but it's hosted on the face of this. You can also create a reference plane and host it on there. Hosting lights on a linked floor or a linked ceiling is not a good idea. Either create your own ceiling or use a reference plane to, um, to put your lights on. Because if this floor disappears, your lights, you'll have problems with your lights. Okay, so we can do a sample of each. So back to our ceiling plan and our level one. And we know it's in the right place. Now let's just do some aligning. So we say mo modify, align, and I'm going to say multiple. And I'm going to pick this guy and align and align. These guys look they all like they all got aligned. Good. Click out. Start again. Align to here. This guy is already good. Those guys are good. It's only this guy. Okay. Click out, start again, align. You can see the green line there. If it's already aligned, it won't let you align. Okay, now we do vertical. Click out, align to, now let's pick this edge. Actually, those guys look good. Those guys look good, this guy isn't. So let's go tab, tab, start again. Oh, it's not letting me. I gotta do it this way here. Align multiple. Okay. And then when you want to start again, click nothing, hover, click, and then pick your. That one's good. Hover, click. Done. Now I can go in and just grab. Oops. Gotta make sure that my surface isn't on and my press and drag isn't on and nudge these guys over so you can you know place those lights around and use your control button nudge them over put some dimensions in there if you want okay and that's it we just wanted to get some lights in there and note that they are they are face hosted